everybody. Welcome to episode 17 of Crack TV, the only talk show with some weird acronym instead of a monologue. With me, as always, is my co-host, Clips of black exploitation movie trailers. So they transplanted the whitehead onto the black body. Who would have suspected that neither would care for the idea too much? Really? I prefer Kant myself. Anyway, it seems we've run out of ideas here on Crack TV because today's topic is... Eight people you won't believe aren't photoshopped. That's right, folks, it's the Freak Show episode. Like TLC before us, we're going to trot out a parade of human misery. Ben Underwood is blind. Mandy Sellers has a condition so rare... It might be a crazy life. But it's our life. In the hopes that your morbid curiosity will lead to big, big numbers. God, I make me sick. But not as sick as this guy. <laughs> Meet Indonesian Dede Kosawa. Those things that make him look like a tree spirit caught in mid-shapeshift are actually growths triggered by HPV. The condition has ruined Dede's life. His wife left him, probably around the time insects started nesting in his feet. He lost his job at the Handsome Guy Museum. And worst of all, the city's always sending by guys and cherry pickers to trim him back from the power lines. Fortunately, the international medical community took an interest in Dede, and he recently underwent surgery to remove the growths. So, he's cured! What? You only removed four pounds of warts out of a possible twelve? I'm sure Dede's estranged wife is running back to him right now. Alright, maybe not. But you know what, Dede? Screw her. I've got a friend who's way better for you. Okay, well, that's not really the most flattering picture ever. Oh, there we go. That's Miss September right there. Duong Jai Semak Semarn's hands are almost as unwieldy as her name. And you know what they say about chicks with big hands. Hard to buy gloves for. <laughs> of course, we can't all have giant hands. Some of us have to settle for huge, mouth-filling tongues. And you know what they say about chicks with big tongues. They're horrifying. Is it just me, or does the fact that they scored this with softcore porn music make it much, much worse? It's like a blind serpent trying to find a rat to eat. Or some McNuggets. I wonder how she stays so thin. Oh, I see. She hides them in a tongue pouch for later consumption. The clip cuts out there, but I think we can safely assume she makes out with herself and they both choke to death. Do not adjust your screens. The picture I'm about to show you is accurate. Unless this guy doesn't look like the blueberry kid from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, in which case you might want to adjust your screen. Argyria is a condition that turns your skin and eyes blue and drains all the color from your hair. It comes in a few forms, most notably the Papa Smurf and Zombie Horror. Since you get Argyria by ingesting colloidal silver, a common ingredient in traveling medicine show tonics, it's a lot rarer now that people don't consider anything that's shiny to have curative properties. In fact, the last remaining sufferers of the condition have banded together and perform in Las Vegas to this day. Those hollow eyes have a lesson to teach us all. Don't eat silver, which, frankly, you'd think there'd be an easier way to teach. Pamphlet or something. <laughs> Have you ever opened a picture of yourself in Photoshop, taken the smear tool and just swirled it around to see what you'd look like if your face melted sideways? Tragically, not everyone has the option. Huang Chung Kai, Chen Zong Tao, and Huang Li Qian. Two of them have the same family name, and they're all from China, which leads me to two conclusions. First, that one gave himself tumors out of brotherly affection, and second, that China is radioactive, which, in turn, leads me to a third conclusion, namely, that these three brave men, shunned by society and united in kind, would make the most formidable crime-fighting team ever assembled. Think about it. All they gotta do is show up. All right, Jimmy, just get the last of the TVs on the truck and we'll... Oh, God, Jimmy, stop stealing. We are so sorry. Do you guys need... Do you need a ride anywhere? Can I help you out? A couple bucks, maybe? Some food? You good? All right. <laughs> Despite evidence to the contrary, tumors are not restricted only to rural China. This Portuguese man proves that the old sitcom formula of attractive wife with unattractive husband can be pushed too far. The twist this time is the guy could have had his tumor taken off long ago, but chose not to because of his religious beliefs. Jehovah, if you're witnessing, this guy better fucking get into heaven. Although, if you could put him in like a darkened part of heaven, I'd appreciate it. Well, that's all for this episode, and I promise we'll never stoop to such manipulative exploitation again. Right, Clippy? He's black. He's brutal. He's boss. Fred Williamson is boss nigger. Remember, if you want to help me pick next week's topic, just flash the swame signal. It's exactly like the bat signal, but different enough to avoid copyright infringement. I've been your host, Droid Michael Swame. Allow me to play you out.